Welcome back to Fragmental. Al Haramain have very kindly sent me the latest from their luxury portfolio line. It's called Floral Sculpture. Could this be the rose scent I get along with? To find out, stay tuned to FM. So yes, here it is. Floral Sculpture from Al Haramain in a beautifully sculpted bottle, actually. Al Haramain contacted me, asked me if they could send me this for free for me to do an honest review on, which is exactly what you're gonna get. Other than that, they're not paying me in any way. So let's start off by taking a look at the bottle and the notes. Prominent notes in floral sculpture are bergamot, peony, carnation, rose, patchouli, ambergris, musk, benzoin, and amber. So you just saw up close how beautiful this bottle design is. It is from Al Haramain's luxury portfolio line, which is a higher priced line, and that reflects in the overall presentation. So I think it's worth just having a quick look at that too. Okay, let's take a look inside the box. So oh, nice rose gold fonts on the box. And again, we've got this rose gold on here. Really lovely black soft leather case. Very luxurious. Really impressed with that. Uh, Al Haramain since 1970. And this is the portfolio range. And we just flip open. And inside, we've got another leather pouch. I mean, this whole thing is just really luxuriously done. Lots of time and effort and money spent on this presentation. And there we have it. Again, continuing the rose gold theme. I mean, I think that bottle design is just stunning, actually. It's elegant, simplistic, it's well thought out. It's got a lovely shape to it. Uh, it's pretty different to anything else that, that I know of. Got this, this rose gold plaque, the name of the fragrance, and uh, Al Haramain on the top there. So, yeah, beautiful bottle. And then the cap, is again, you know, that um, that always is a good signifier of something that is really quality and, and expensive is the weight of the cap. So it's a pretty, pretty heavy cap. And, uh, and there's your bottle and fantastic sprayer as well. Great distribution, loads comes out. So there's your presentation. So this one is definitely a rose heavy fragrance. If you followed my channel for a while or my Instagram account, by the way, check out my Instagram. I do post new pictures every day and sometimes videos and extra content on there. So well worth going over there. Give me a follow if you have Instagram. So could this be the rose scent that changes things for me? Can I get along with this? Can I wear this? Do I find it masculine enough? Because typically with heavy rose dominant scents, I do find they lean a little bit too feminine and honestly, I do struggle to wear them. Let's talk about the composition. So you've got the bergamot in here, although I don't really get much of a citrusy accord in this. And then there's some florals in the top. There's the peony. I couldn't really tell you if I pick out the peony because I'm not really familiar with the odor profile of that. Carnation, yes, you do definitely get uh, a floral in the opening here, and it's almost a spicy floral, and I think carnation can sometimes have a clove-like odor profile to it. So because of that spiciness mixed with that quite intense rose note, it gives an almost pencil shavings accord to me in a really good way. I think it does lend a slightly more masculine edge to it to have that spiciness. So it's got this, this almost woody spiciness sitting on top of this very dominant rose. There's also patchouli in the heart of this, but because the rose is so heavy in this, I'm not really picking out a lot of the patchouli. It's kind of there in the background as a bit of a supporting note, but the rose is definitely front and center in the heart of this fragrance. After about 20, 30 minutes, that spicy kind of pencil shavings accord on top of that rose just fades away for me, and it becomes a less intense rose fragrance. It becomes a little more gentle, a little more 
powdery in the dry down uh, after about the 30 minute mark it kind of remains as that accord for me so that powdery rose for the duration of this one the whole thing has this really nice, almost exotic Middle Eastern feel to the composition and uh, Al Haramain are a Middle Eastern company, I think they're based in Dubai. I can tell when I smell this that it is a really well composed fragrance, high quality ingredients used, it doesn't smell synthetic at all, it's got plenty of depth, it really does smell like they've sourced some high quality ingredients for this one. Now it really reminds me quite strongly of Frederick Marles' portrait of a lady. I've had a sample of that a little while ago, I haven't worn that for a long time. I've smelled it in store uh, whenever I've uh, seen Frederick Marles in store just to remind me of it and this does strongly remind me of portraits of a lady. Now I don't have uh, a sample of it at the moment so I can't do a direct side-by-side -side comparison and uh, Al Haramain certainly aren't marketing this as a clone of portrait of a lady so I don't know if that is the intention at all. Uh, I'm not sure it is, but it does remind me of it. Now, Portrait of a Lady is a rose scent that I just can't get beyond that, that prominent rose. It just leans too feminine for me to wear. It's kind of a strange situation because I can enjoy the fact that the composition is so well done and the quality of the materials are obviously very high in Portrait of a Lady and I really want to like it because I know it gets a lot of love, particularly among a lot of guys. A lot of guys say that they find it masculine enough to wear, so I find maybe I'm weird that, that, that I can't. Um, although I think a lot of guys have this love-hate relationship with, with Rose. I can get along with rose fine if it's a little more in the background but if it's front and center in a scent like it is with this and portrait of a lady it's just a little bit too much for me reminds me a little bit of um an old lady's handbag in a way and when i say old lady's handbag um let me just try and put that into a bit of context uh that's not really a negative it's just an association that i apply to it rightly or wrongly i i can't help that um let's just say it's a really um lovely stylish uh, older lady uh with a very um, stylish designer handbag um i think i've got away with that one uh, but once you have an association with a fragrance it's really hard to break that and with rose based fragrances like this one um, that's that's the problem that i have like i say frustrating because i can tell it's a really well made scent but it's just not a scent profile that i would choose to wear having said that I have been wearing it out and about, uh, I, I wore it for uh, an evening meal, I've worn it as a day scent on a few occasions just to get a real good sense of it and I didn't dislike wearing it and uh, I didn't get any compliments but I didn't get any um, negative remarks either. Um, so I, I, I can go out and wear it, I, I don't have a problem with it, it's not like I'm, I'm cringing and I'm, I'm, I'm curling up in embarrassment but it's just, uh, out of all the scents that I own, it's just not one that I would reach for over the others. So if you are familiar with Portrait of a Lady then that just gives you some idea of what this scent is doing. Just as an interesting side note, as I was wearing this I did ask my wife what she thought of it and if she felt it was too feminine and she didn't think it was at all, she didn't think it lent too feminine so to her it smelled okay on me uh, and I guess if my wife thinks it's, it's alright then that's kind of an important thing. But first and foremost, I wear fragrances for me, so if I'm not quite enjoying the scent profile of this, then um, that's why I wouldn't choose to reach for it. But my wife liked it, and uh, everyone has different opinions, and I know there's plenty of guys out there that do love um, rose-dominant fragrances, so uh, if you're one of those people, or if you're a lady and you love Portrait of a Lady and rose fragrances, then I think you would really enjoy this one. But personally, for me, it's just not my bag more of an old lady's handbag. Price on this one is £100 for 75 mil. I think it leans a little more mature, but I do think it's versatile in that you could wear it all year round in terms of occasions. This to me would work, it could work as a day signature scent, but this would work well as a special or formal occasion scent, or just whenever you're in the mood for something a little bit more luxurious. If you think this interests you, you can buy this from Al Haramain, so I will leave a link to their UK website and their US website, it is available on both of them. I will also leave a link to their Instagram account, which uh, if you want to get all the latest updates on the releases from Al Haramain, and there's some really interesting ones coming out at the moment, then I will leave their Instagram link down below this video also. 
Okay, that brings this video to a close. I would really love to hear from anybody who's tried this or any gentleman out there who really love portrait of a lady. I know there's a lot of you. What do you think about that rose? Uh, do you find it a little feminine or do you think it's really masculine? Uh, is it just this association that I've got stuck in my mind that I can't shape? But I'd love to hear from you, so let me know how you feel about rose-based scents. And let me know your favorite rose-based scents because maybe there are some amazing ones that I haven't yet tried and that could just completely change my mind on, on how I feel about wearing rose scents. So do let me know, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you found it useful, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everybody. And remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. <laughs>